but which up what that doesn't look like who is what is what what the what all right so i know what you're thinking what cyberverse this isn't transformers siege what's he playing at well i'll tell you it came to australia first when we get something in the land of oz before our fellow collectors overseas get it i can't help it I just gotta get it. I love the exclusive. And I got it! Does it make me a bad fan that I haven't actually watched Cyberverse yet? I normally try and watch every cartoon that comes out because I'm like that. I'm that kind of dude. I find normally like with most shows, if you're keen on the subject matter, once you sort of settle into the rhythm of it, you know, you can enjoy most things for what they are. But I just, I haven't done it. I don't know, I'm sorry. I'll do it tomorrow. No, I probably won't. All right, here he is. And he is quite the big boy. Here is El Arcamundo. It's pretty cool, like, for what it is. I'm not sure, I haven't watched the show, so I'm not really sure how this is going to play out, but, like, it's hard to imagine Optimus Prime summoning a small version of a huge spaceship. Maybe it was, like, a drone. He can do some kind of, like, Pegasus, Beast Warsy stuff. I don't really know. In terms of articulation, elbows, bicep swivel, up and down, back and forward, no head swivel, torso swivel. I guess that kind of makes it head swivel, but it's like head swivel in that Michael Keaton Batman kind of way where it's like, yes, no, I'm Batman. I miss my parents. This is where it gets a little cheeky. No, no knee. All you've got is some backwards and forwards, limited by, you know, his waist. And then some outy side aerobic action. Um, for how big he is, and mind you, for how much this costs. So I got it on sale um, by being, you know, a die-hard Transformers sycophant and waiting outside the shop for it to open. Yeah, that's right. That's how you do it. That's how you get the toys. Yeah, if I hadn't got him on sale, he would have been a hundred dollary dues. That's a, that's a lot for someone with no knees. But anyway, I guess all of it's in this. It holds together reasonably well. It's not too bad. But uh, I think we all know the real gimmick and how he'll probably most likely end up being displayed is arm it up. All right, before we get into arming him up, I guess I should show off his vehicle mode, which is quite the slice of nonsense. Actually, it's not too bad in parts. You'll, you'll see, um, you will see. So twist this around, arm back, fold that up. Now, this is kind of the only actual sort of bit you might not be expecting is this weird yellow bungee cord in the middle but anyway you pull that down that's what lets you get in to line up and plug in these bits all right just bring it well that starts down but you know you bring that down it's got a couple of tabs give it the old tabaroo how just friggin lazy is that like, that's okay from the front, I suppose, but like, for his legs not to bend and just do nothing, like even if they collapsed in on themselves or something to make it shorter, but anyway, that's that. And then apparently, you can see these bits on his shins, they line up with the same posts where you'll end up connecting it to his back. Yay! Just what I've always wanted. So we're back for the armored up version, which is the whole gimmick behind this subline of this line. I might sound like I'm being a little harsh. I know this is a kid's line, but like, you know, kids' toys can be sick. Beast Wars and stuff was awesome. That was for kids. I don't know. I don't know. But anyway, pull off his blade. All right. Slide out these bits. Same on this side, pull that out. 
Right, so here's the big boy with all of his little bitty bit 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 bips. Let's go ahead and get it on. It's okay. I picked it up off the ground. It's not a very complex dealio. It's not like you're putting on the Galaxy Convoy like upgrade armor or anything. So it just snaps on. Wiggledy wiggle. There's some ports. There we go. Snap on. The blade has a peg. That peg goes over here. Now he has the power to stab, as well as open his mail quickly and efficiently. Shoulder boobity doos. Just flip out the little bitty bits so that they can sit on and look all shoulder missile and cool. Yeah. Alright, just there's a hole in it for the smokestack. Yeah. Alright, so that's limb sorted. Now this is where it gets weird and this is where the instructions got weird because you need to press buttons and there's hooks and things that work and uh, mine actually broke the very first time that I tried to do it. I think it can be glued back in because it was just a glue pop. Uh, you'll see, you'll see, I'll show you. Alright, so putting on this piece is a little, a little whacked out. Really, to be honest. The way they show you in the instructions, which is probably the easiest, is just match these to these. Right, like that. And then this whole shooting match comes up and over. That should, in theory, be down. And then you connect it, and it pops up! Whoa, it was down, right? But then, then, we got to, oh, it's up! This is where things went a little askew. I don't know if you can... Yeah, can you see the stupid cracked dry glue where this was just so flimsily stuck on? Right, it sits there. So there's no snap plastic, just cracked glue. So if this had have all unfolded properly, it should have just stayed in the one piece, like this. And then he's got those guns over his shoulders. Which have a really complicated, but surprisingly ineffective mechanized feature. Like there's this little grip here. And then he, uh, hey yeah. What makes it weird is if his shoulders are up, right, it kind of hits. And there's nothing that holds this bit down. So as you pull on it, you kind of just push it up. So you got to pull down and push forward. Oh, man. Because of the size of this dude, I am having to throw out all kinds of really awkward shapes to be able to fit him into the view. Like, I'm really having to reach and like it's hell making me wish I'd done more yoga or Pilates so I wasn't having to throw such odd shapes. But I thought I'd be remiss if I didn't quickly throw in some prime comparisons. And so I'm gonna try and go for primes that all have a little little extra boosty to their initial primity primeness. All right, so first comparison to give you a good sense of just how big this Mac Daddy is. Here we have with Mr. Give Me Your Face himself. Revenge of the Fallen Optimus Jetfire, like the first time round. I wonder if this thing still works. Where's the button? It's probably under that waste plate. There they are together. I, I still think this is sick. I think there's a lot of figures from the movie that they kind of got right the first time round, essentially. I'm not a big studio series kind of guy, really. Give me your face! Alright, next, heading back in time for your viewing pleasure, we have... What happens when brothers are too close? God, this is janky. I love it so much, but it is so janky. Ultra Magnus and Optimus. Fire engine and car carrier, dump truck. 
Fire engine and rectangle. There they are together. So you can see this, this Cyberverse bro is actually taller at the head, I think. And you know, this Optimus is one big mumble jumba. And lastly, we have the original, hey bro, mind if I wear you as a bulletproof vest, God Bomber Ginrai. And yeah, again, our friend in the Spark Armor is a little bit taller. I got him primarily because I am a sucker for when Optimus has a friend and they team up and it's like you get even more Optimus than you bargained for. What would you do if I fought next to you? Would you try to combine with me? Lend me your spark and we'll fight up a storm. That's the way a prime should be. Oh, I combine with my friends. All I need is my buddies, I combine with my friends. If um, the quality control and posability and stuff, compared to the price point on this guy, is any indication of the Cyberverse line in general, whilst I have no regrets about picking up this Optimus, it'll probably realistically be my first and last foray into the Cyberverse. Well, knowing me, the second I actually watch the cartoon, then I'll be like, oh, I now need versions of all of these characters in these versions of these character versions. And the collection will grow. So there you have it. Cyberverse Spark Armor Optimus Prime with Arc Action Armor for all time.